I love watching laser engravers run. Now, that was just a five second compressed clip. The entire engraving takes about 12 to 15 seconds for the QR code as well as the URL. If you're interested in learning more about other alternatives to part marking outside of using your CNC machine tool, the first question that happens once someone sees the possibilities with marking outside their machine is they want to know what it costs, which fair enough. And depending on the wattage of the laser from SIC, you can get a 20 watt or a 30 watt. And depending on the size of the enclosure, the price is going to fluctuate. How do you determine what you need for a budget? Well, knowing the size of the parts that you're engraving, knowing the materials, knowing the frequency, because the higher wattage laser is going to make it faster, as well as knowing the size of the letters or the images that you want to be able to engrave. These are all going to help you dial in the right product for you. Now you may be wondering, is this machine extremely complicated? Thankfully, no, I can do it. I, I learned how to demo this product in less than an hour. So I'm sure I can share enough with you that you will get an idea. First step is you turn on the machine. Just a little toggle button there in front. Now, something to make sure is after you do that, you hit the power up restart. And then after that, if you're like me and you forgot to turn on the key for the laser, you're gonna wanna go click that on so it can do a full power up restart, just like you would for any other piece of CNC equipment. Well, after that, it's as simple as loading your material, then booting up the software. Now, I do recommend that you turn on the laser itself first because the software actually uses the laser unit as a software dongle. That means you can have that software installed on any laptop with each user's personalized, customized settings. They can then hook up the laptop to run the laser and have their own settings there. After that, it may not be as quick as the snap of a button, but it's fairly straightforward to bring in the elements and select the different pens, which will indicate different laser strengths. That's right. You can customize the laser strength and all the other parameters based on the color of the pen that you use, which allows you to unlock a lot of crazy custom features when it comes to your part marking needs and material groups that you may have mixed throughout your production facility. After that, you then get the opportunity to lay out by hitting the F2 key. It gives you a little trace of the parts so you can ensure that it goes in the exact location that you want it and then once you're ensured that you're there you close the door and then you hit mark once the marking's done you'll have a solution now on the screen i've got the sample that i started the video with it's a black anodized aluminum business card now it's very thin you'll notice on the screen right now that the card is kind of dancing while it runs this is totally natural for that thin piece of a material you watch those little wisp smoke as they evaporate the anodizing off of the part and then it reveals the aluminum underneath now for thicker parts they're not going to move the nice thing about a laser engraving system is the fact that you don't need to hold down these parts if you happen to be marking on a part that's already gone through all the production processes you don't have to worry about holding or fixturing that would be necessary to either mark it in your cnc or on other dot peen more physical marking systems you'd need to that part with the laser that's not a concern it's just lining it up to make sure everything goes in the right place now i have seen a lot of different custom design 3d printed solutions to create fixtures again because you don't need to worry about retention this is just speeding up the location process it is a great way to combine to get the proper angular face we've even had customers doing laser engraving on the sides of phone then they just have fixtures put up to put the part at the correct angle to align laser engraving head and it goes by quite quickly this streamlines the process for those high marking needs. now what material groups is long as it doesn't completely refract or allow the beam to pass you can engrave it with a laser i've seen everything from rubber to plastic to aluminum steel stainless steel and titanium i mean all kinds of materials if you're wondering if your material is suitable then you can reach out to the team at thomas skinner here in western canada and we will help you find the correct solution. You can reach us here at the number on screen or the email or contact your local rep. Till next time, keep your spin turning and earning.